Hello YouTube, this is Yusuf again with another Transformers toy review. Uh, today I'm reviewing an um, older piece of my collection. That would be Energon Scarpenach. Uh, as uh, many know, I've not actually seen the Energon series. I've actually only seen the uh, Japanese version Superlink where he was called Zarak or Mega Zarak. Uh, after his uh, Japanese name of the G1 toy, which was also Zarek, or his upgrade Black Zarek. Um, overall, I think this is one of the better toys out of the series. Uh, while he is a bit hampered in quite a few ways and uh, suffers from uh, electronics which are in the way and detract from what, how good he could have been, uh, overall, he still works quite well in all his various modes. He is also quite good for fan modes. Uh, I've recently seen uh, about 10 different modes for him. Uh, I'm not going to show them. Uh, you can probably see them around on the net if you search for them. Um, as you can see, uh, he is a Decepticon, but, uh, not by choice. Uh, originally he was from Alpha Q's planet and served Alpha Q in uh, trying to restore their home planet uh, by using the power of Unicron. Uh, unfortunately, eventually uh, Megatron or Galvatron by that time, uh, I'm not sure, uh, got hold of him, pretty much brainwashed him and made him into a uh, Decepticon. Uh, he, he was one of the most loyal uh, employees then of Megatron slash Galvatron, but in the end he did regain some of his honor because um, he, he's pretty much the Dinobot from Beast Wars. Uh, honor uh, is very important to him. Uh, as, as you can see he's a really a bruiser type of character. Uh, very powerful, very heavily armed. Uh, he has uh, this uh, crane hook, which is also his poison stinger. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't really work it that well out that, that it really looks like a stinger. Uh, but, well, you can't have everything. Uh, he has big scoop like hands, which as you can see, are very hard to move and are quite limited. Uh, the only way to get them forward is to have them in this way. And when opened, because his claws can open quite far, they reveal his blaster. Uh, in it would have been a missile, but that one, like most of my toys, uh, is in the pile of uh, missiles and I'm not sticking them back in. Similar, uh, this guy has room for batteries, for his uh, voice, uh, of, I know, for sound effects and for some light. I'm not even sure what, what he did anymore. Because, frankly put, uh, I always tr throw out the batteries the moment I get a toy. I listen to them perhaps once and that e not even that is sure that I'll do that. Because, frankly put, I think most electronics are quite useless in most toys and I think they detract from the overall quality of a toy because to me well, transforming is the first and most important part. Um, as you can see he is uh, for a part in transparent plastic uh, which uh, comes from all those energon weapons which are on him. Uh, he also has a small extra gimmick uh, in his tail by sliding this, uh, this cockpit uh, uh, back uh, two cannons uh, pop forward for some extra firepower, which I quite like. Uh, on this part it has a minicon port, but it's, the minicon is absolutely not needed to activate this. Now, for his transformation into a scorpion, uh, let's get started. Battle visor down. His actual cockpit gets opened. 
head turns around, fits in. We close up these halves and move his arms around so they face forward for the time being. The tail unhooks here and goes between his legs. Now the stinger looks a bit more like an actual stinger. Now, uh, this is the only part which I think could have been done better because well, he's more like a combination of a scorpion and a bulldozer. So instead of actual legs, he has tracks. Hold in these heel spurs. Move his feet forward. Quarter. Click the click. Yes, he clicks very much. And pull out these. And there you have him in his scorpion mode. Uh, as you can see, because uh, it's very much up to interpretation to be actually a, a real scorpion, is the reason why he can be made into so many fan modes. I've seen an elephant, crawlers, uh, very, a lot of things. Overall, I do like the looks of this form. Uh, he still has the two guns, which can uh, come out for some heavy firepower. He has some movable mandibles, uh, which don't really uh, uh, don't really get any use in the show that I've seen. But this stinger, uh, unfortunately, it's a bit uh, limited in its uh, actual ability to move cost much more than this it can do. Uh, if I recall correctly, moving this tail uh, does the transformation sound, but as I said, I've removed the batteries. Um, if you can find him still, I can recommend getting him, because he is one of the best toys for Emma John. Uh, so here you got it, Emma John, uh, Scorpnock, uh, for comparison, well, I thought I'm bringing this guy because he's my only other Scorpionak. But, well, you get it. He's a mega, he's quite big, and he's fun to play with. Until next time.